So how exactly do I keep my working table clean? As you can see, that's my working table. So I'm going to show you and tell you exactly how I manage to keep my working table clean all the time. I'm doing this video because I've been getting a lot of comments. People are like, your working table is always clean. I like that. Some people are like, it doesn't look like a busy working table. I tell you what, my working table doesn't have need to have a battery right here, a screen right there, a PCB right there. Everything's cut out on the table for you to be able to know that I always have work to do. The working table is a busy working table. So that's what you need to keep in mind. You don't have to prove to people that you are a phone technician by, by having phones and PCs cut up over the table. So I will show you how you can also keep your working table so clean. And I'm not just going to show you this table here. This is my repairing table. I have my other set up here. We'll show you everything. Then also tell you how you can keep everything clean. And also don't forget to gain my courses. If in case you want to learn mobile repairing from the basics of troubleshooting to the advanced level of troubleshooting, you can get my courses right now with a 50, with a 45% discount. So check the courses after watching the video. Okay, so we are starting with my repairing table here. As you can see, I will go deep into the table, but look at my other working setup. As you can see, this is my other working setup here. So we are going to start with this one. Let's start with this. I will tell you exactly why this is always clean. As you can see, you might look at the table right now and you're like, I don't have stuff to do. I don't have work to do. I have more than 20 phones right here, right now that I have to work on these days. But what is the secret in keeping your working table? What is the secret in keeping your work, working table so clean? As you can see, you might, you, you can see all these boxes. You're wondering what they're doing. I always keep all of this i don't i don't uh, misuse any box that i get as you can see if you check here you will see that these are the only things that i have like phones on my table and this is because i received these phones just a few minutes ago and i need to work on them so i'm still to put them in inside one of these boxes you understand so when i receive i put the phones inside these boxes like yes you can see these are all phones so all phones and things that I don't need to use all the time, that they don't have to be on top of the table all the time. So all these boxes, we have phones inside. So to keep your working table so clean, you need to keep stuff like this, keep boxes like this. As you can see, we have phones, we have phones here, we have phones here, we have phones. I have more than 20 phones right now that I have to work on. And these ones that I received today, I think I will working on these phones like uh, maybe after two weeks that's when i will complete working on the other phones before i reach to the level of working on these phones because i cannot work on them right here i have other works that i need to finish as you can see everything is in order everything is in order so you can see that's my pc my pc i use it on my microscope i also use it to view schematic diagrams and do other things as you can see these are my tools. That's how I keep this table clean. So looking at this other one, that's my seat, another seat here. Looking at this other one, as you can see. So this one, it's always clean. So if you look at this other working setup here, you will see that I don't do repairing here. So you can see this is my steering wheel. I play games here when, when I'm free. And I do editing, do video editing, anything that has to do with software, I do it here. So video editing, blog posting, running everything, managing anything that doesn't have to do with repairing, I do it here. So even flashing, I flash through unlocking here. As you can see, here's my PC, actually a gaming PC. And as you can see, everything is clean. You see everything is in order. So even when I am working, you're not going to see any unnecessary stuffs here if i want to work on any of these phones i remove just that phone i dismantle the phone and i work on that phone only i will open this one open that other one so the reason why a lot of phone technicians are not able to keep their working table clean is because they like rushing every single work that they get they like working on a lot of phones at the same time 
So there are times that I do something similar to that. I open this phone, try working on it. Maybe I reach a certain level that I don't have that specific IC at that moment. I will just uh, wrap up the phone, like find a, a plastic, wrap up the phone, put it inside before I open the next one without uh, mounting back the phone, without opening back the phone that I was working on at first. So that's how you can keep every, everything clean. Always keep these boxes, you put everything inside. Try not to rush your work, and that's one mistake that a lot of technicians are doing. You need to let your customers know that you don't have to rush when working on anything. Even if it's a charging port to change, let them give you time. Yeah, not, not even talking about the Microsoft Open Pad because that's just the part that you need to be patient. You need to have a cool mindset. You need to have nothing disturbing you before you go into Microsoft. Open. That's why you see, if you notice, I do, mostly do Microsoft Open at night. Mostly do Microsoft Open at night. I don't want noise. You know, I'm always working, play my music. That's the only noise that cannot distract me when I'm working. You understand? So I just wanted to show you my cable. Then, yeah, explain how you can also keep your table clean and also show you that this table is not always clean because I lack stuff to do. So, that's it, and that's how everything goes. And also, you can get my courses, even in case you don't know about my courses, you can get my courses from the link on my bio, my basic level course, and the professional level course with a 45% discount. You can get it right now. And also, I'm working on a professional level course ebook mobile repairing. So, soon you'll be able to purchase an ebook. A professional level mobile repairing ebook from my online store where you will learn everything that is in my professional level course that contains videos. So, this one will be an ebook. So, even if you purchase the videos, you might still need the, the, the ebook to present to your students. So, you like going through ebooks, and yeah, you can still get it. So, that's how everything goes. So, follow. Goodbye, and see you soon.